Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. You guys, it's garden season and the garden is producing. I'm so excited to show you my produce that the kids and I have worked really hard to, uh, to grow. And so since it's garden season and the tomatoes are looking fabulous, we're getting ready to make some salsa. I want to home can some salsa that's a little thinner than the last one I did. Thank you so much to Am's Chef for sending me their professional blender. You guys, I'm excited to open this up. Now, I did a chunky salsa the last time I did one, but I want one that's a little bit less chunk, more smooth. And of course, my blender does not do what a professional blender would do. And my children keep breaking the blender. So again, thank you to Am's Chef for sending me their professional blender. This is going to help me to break down those tomatoes very, very well. Also, you guys, listen, I'm using my extra burner. Just happened to be from Am's Chef. This is uh, going to help me free up some stove space so that I can start working on my salsa. This blender does have five functions. It is used for smoothies. You can do ice crush, puree, blend, or pulse. Because I had so many cherry tomatoes and I was not skinning all of these, I chose to do a puree to try to make sure that we got this as fine as we could. And so I was excited to be able to use this. So I did a first pass through. It's still pretty chunky. We're gonna come back in just a second to further puree this down. I'm now putting in my onions. This is a very simple uh, salsa recipe. I just found it online using Google. So two and a half cups of onions, and I'm gonna also do the same using that puree function. And it makes quick work of those onions. And then I just put those into the pot as I was getting ready to uh, work with the um, the tomatoes again. So I'm going to put all the onions in and then I am going to go back in with the tomatoes so that I can give them another pass through, um, on the puree setting so that I can make this as smooth as possible. Now I wasn't loving the color of this because I I've used, you know, the yellow, uh, tomatoes, the red ones, as well as some of the lighter green ones. And um, I'm just going to put nine cups of tomatoes in. I think I needed to add some more. I didn't have quite nine cups. And so I did have to use a few more uh, tomatoes. So here, these garlic scapes came out of our garden. And I was happy to be able to use those scapes. I did puree those as well. Here I am just taking out our warm jars because we're going to put a warm salsa in these jars to can and um, I broke that uh, salsa down for about 20 to 30 minutes it was probably still a little thicker than what I might like but um, the color was pretty after I added in the um, tomato paste so here I am just filling up my jars I wish I had smaller jars but I figured for a good size salsa you need about a pint jar. I didn't have any smaller ones. This is what I do have. And so again, we did add a little bit of spice. We added the peppers from the garden and um, we did break those down in the blender as well. And so after I get all of these jars filled, I'm going to wipe the rims with some vinegar and then put my lids on. I'm using four jars lids and then they are gonna go into the water bath canner for I think it's a 30 minute process time and then I leave the pot lid on for five minutes after it's processed all except that last one that very small one um, sealed I don't know if Jackson gave me a brand new lid or not uh, but that was the only one that didn't seal we put it in the fridge and we use it in some of our cooking so everything in for a five minute process time and all will be well um, what I did do was make sure that before I use the blender, though, I cut those, you know, ingredients down a little bit smaller because I use cherry tomatoes. I didn't have to cut those at all. 
but this is what happens after a 30 minute process time with five additional minutes our salsa is ready to come out of the canner and it's nice and smooth or smoother than my my last one now to not be outdone this does have an ice cream feature and jackson wanted a milkshake type of thing and so we wanted to make sure that you all were able to see that this does ice cream very very well and um, here it is again if you're interested in this am chef professional blender there will be a link down in the description box below and i'm finishing up this canning session by doing some monkey butter this is a recipe i found in a canning group online and i just tried it it's pineapples bananas sugar lemon juice and there it is. So thank you so much for stopping by. Like the video. Don't forget to check the description box for the blender. Thank y'all for stopping by now.